Is this journey named Find My Roots? Kind of like that. <laughs> This is Xiamen, a coastal city in Fujian province, China. In the early 20th century, my grandfather sailed from here and left his Chinese family for a new life in the Philippines. He died in the 1970s and much of his whereabouts is still a mystery. Where is he from, his other family, and why did he leave in the first place? I'm on a mission. I'm here to uncover my Fujian roots. The best place to know the story of the people of that time is the Overseas Chinese Museum. During the Qing Dynasty, war, hunger, and government conflict pushed a large-scale migration of Chinese people to Southeast Asia. It is clear from the map that there were routes from Xiamen to Philippines at that time. Buddhism was followed by Grandpa, and it was best to visit a nearby temple. In downtown Shaman, walk down Zhongshan Road, the oldest commercial street in the city. It's now a place for premium shopping, food, and quirky sites. <laughs> A 20-minute ferry across the harbor will take you to historic Kulang Yu Island. It was once settled by foreigners from the west after China's loss to the First Opium War and Treaty of Nanking. This resulted to preserve Victorian-era styled mansions that are scattered around the island. video <laughs> Americans try whatever this is
up with it. That night, I met up with a friend from Sydney who was in Shaman, and we were out to find a local noodle place. Some kind of traditional medicine drink. Medicine drink, okay. Yeah. It's sweet. Shaman does not shy away of good food. And in Siming District, the possibilities are endless. Here is a list of good food to try. Are you in love with him? I guess I'll never really know. Shaman is a university town where all of the young and the brightest minds from China and around the world come together and pursue their academic dreams. In the Siming campus, you can visit a one-kilometer tunnel dedicated to wall art, anime, and political graffiti. Just near the university, there's an alley that's dedicated to cats. Yes, that's right, cats. Because it's a university town, Shaman is very youth-oriented. Much of the youth culture converged at the art district of Shapoway. Look closely, there are free spaces that are open 24 hours nearby Shapoway. One is Chao Cafe in Dashway Road. And Street Lamp Project behind Shapoway Art Zone. I couldn't leave China without experiencing their herbal tea culture. What is your name, by the way? Uh, you can call me Elva. I'm a Chinese name. I don't. I hope it's not difficult for you to pronounce. I can pronounce anything. Hua Xiaoyun. Hua Xiaoyun. Xiao. What what kind of um, tea is this? It's oolong tea. Oolong tea. Oolong tea. 
That's nice. Oolong tea. Enjoy your cup of tea. Thank you. You have to speak it because um, people are so divided, so different. You have yeah. to combine them all. You have to uh, make them easy to communicate with each other. Mm, that's right. Yeah. On my last day, I visited the local barista. While there, I met a Malaysian man who owns a bar in Dashway Road. He too was looking for his Chinese clan years ago and have successfully found it. According to the man, Zhu Chin San could possibly have just exited from Shaman, but it was actually from a nearby town. This was because Shaman was mainly a seaport back in those days. Most of these migrations to the Philippines come from Quanzhou in the north and Zhangzhou in the west. It was later confirmed by a Chinese neighbor in the Philippines that Jinjiang in Quanzhou is where the Ormok Chu clan came from. With the help of hospital and police records of those towns, I could have major leads to Chu Chin San's information. But, unfortunately, time was running up for me. In the afternoons, I'm at the old Shapaway fishing village, observing the locals, food being served, and beer flowing. I end my journey knowing that I've come full circle with my grandfather's story. Being his grandson, I always wanted to know what his legacy was. I've experienced his origins and have come to understand him more, even though I have not met him. He won't be the last I'll see Fujian province, because a part of me is saying that I am home. Thank you. 